Sarita does has been considered genre-defining. But she rewrote the rule book with her short film, The Descent, which was probably the first ever Bharatanatyam-based music video. I am delighted to join Savita and Shrikant and relive the journey behind the making of The Descent. Namaskar. Congratulations on the success of Descent and thank you so much for coming in and sharing these lovely moments with our viewers. Uh, first question is for you ma'am. What interested you to choose this subject on depression and uh, through your dance piece did you want to highlight what depression can do to an individual? The piece was about a person, a person who has fallen from her stardom, has become somebody that in her own eyes, a figment of imagination, no more an identity of any um, importance. And that was her own notion about herself. Depression was a state of mind that she was in and the piece really spoke about what happened to her in moments in vignettes and a lot of what I depicted through Descent really comes from conversations I've had with Srikant about a superstar of yesteryears in the Hindi cinema and maybe Srikant can speak a little bit about um, some of that conversation. Sure, uh, this comes from an autobiography of uh, Rajesh Khanna. Um, there was one particular line which struck me very deeply uh, when I read it. Apparently he used to have a one drink too many in the night and he would sit in the terrace in the pouring rain and say ke parvartikar itna bhi mujhe mat satao ke mujhe aapke hone per bhi vishwas ho jaye which means uh, don't put me to so much test oh god that i start to deny your existence and it struck me that you know what kind of a pain must this person be going through that he's speaking his mind out like that i think that was the genesis but rajesh khanna uh, himself probably never realized that he can never stop being a superstar for most of us um, but that sense of depression that sense of falling happens to a lot of us rajesh khanna was a known example there right. are thousands of people and i think that's really what i wanted to show that once you've fallen in your own eyes it really doesn't matter what society considers you to be the next question is for you, sir. It's rather unusual for a Bharatanatyam dance short film to be picked up by film festivals across the globe. I've never seen it. And it's just not critical acclaim. It's also how the viewers across the globe have expressed their love and gratitude towards what you have done to them. Why do you think Disengrave gained the traction that it did? And what about it do you think that people related to? Right, so I think firstly there are no Bharatanatyam short films, so in that sense that it got picked up by film festivals is not as unusual as the fact that there is something like a Bharatanatyam short film. Uh, usually what tends to happen is certain pieces tend to be filmed and put up on YouTube or something. This I think was an attempt at making something like a music video which uh, Western musicians use a lot to promote their uh, music, right. So. I think Savita and I would always be grateful to the audience who liked our work, who gave it all their love um, and that is our fortune that that happened. To tell you the truth, I don't think we, either of us and I speak for both of us, I don't think we expected it to win anything. We thought it's a film that we're making from our heart and we made it. That what happened after that was I would think uh, icing on the cake right uh, why did they relate to it so much because the drama was real depression or the effects of falling off from a cliff is something that most of our lives go through the severity of the fall may change from person to person 
I think all of us have that fall. Some of us have that fall much more than the others. Depression can come for various reasons. For a kid who's suddenly lost her first rank to someone else, it could be that. For a superstar who's given up her position to someone else, it could be that. For a tennis player who gave up his ranking, for a cricketer who's dropped out of the team, it could happen to anybody, right? That it happens is not unusual. How you deal with it after that is, uh, is what differentiates one from the other, right? However, we were not trying to say how did this person act to the situation that happened to her. We think we were showing a photographic moment of how it was to be in that free fall. And that free fall is relatable to a lot of people, which is why I think it gained the traction that it did. Film festivals, they probably liked it for other aspects. They'll have to tell us why they picked it up. I'm very happy they picked it up. But I don't think any of this was made with the intention of having it picked up by film festivals, right? Yeah, and um, I remember there was this um, dance young student who asked um, you if you could tell a story in a matter of five minutes. And so in some ways our departure from telling stories that took up a span of an hour, having now shifted to telling a story in five minutes was really, in some ways, our um, answer to that student. It, it was a little more than five it was, minutes. It was nine minutes something, so <laughs> we still have ways to go. Yes. But we'll get there. 